channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I hope you choose to stay a while. So as promised, boxy charm. So this is my July base box boxy charm. It is $25 USD per month plus $5 shipping. So it costs me about $30 USD, and then the price does fluctuate a little bit depending on the exchange rate at the moment. So usually between $35 and $40, but it is five full-size products, and you get to choose one every month. I have been enjoying BoxyCharm much more than I have um, Ipsy. I actually put Ipsy on hold for quite a few months, and then this month for July, I decided that was it. I got one product that I wanted, which was my choice item, and yeah. So you'll see that I'm going to film it whenever I actually get it and we'll go from there. So here we go. Let's see what we have. And yeah. Okay. All right. So this month's theme and card looks like this. So it's fantasy and yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. So the first item is my choice item, which I'm extraordinarily excited about. It is the Ofra Mini Palette. So those oh, are the colors. Absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to have this. I have one of her highlighters and I absolutely adore it. So I'm super happy to get this one. And then on the back, it does show you what all the colors are. And yeah, so let's go ahead. Oh, it's kind of spongy inside too, which is nice. So we have a bronzer, a blush, then some eyeshadows and highlight. So the, high, the colors I'm most interested in is this one. And then the red just above it. And let's watch this gold. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. See that? So pigmented. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I am looking forward to playing around with that. So, that was my choice item. This costs $39 USD, so I've already made that's it. That's the price of my box right there. Plus, so I'm good. Um, I'm not sure why. So I did not get like the uh, foam in my box this month. I got this piece of paper. I'm not sure how that was going to keep it safe, but it did, thankfully. So I am happy. And then my next product is a dermatist. I can't pronounce that. Um, the Retinol Trifecta Serum. So that's this guy here. And I've been doing really good with all my beauty routine, my skincare. So I'm actually looking forward to giving this a try. So it just comes in this glass bottle. And it's a, literally, a serum. Does it have a scent? It does have a scent, but I don't think it's going to be harsh enough to be a problem. All right. And then next we have a mud mask, vitamin infused eye serum. And this is a really big bottle for an eye serum. Normally you get little tiny tubes like that maybe so that's really nice and i have been trying to do an eye cream in my routine so i'm happy to have this as something new to try and something that's big enough that i'll get lots and lots of use out of so this product is 63 dollars usd so looking pretty good to me so far then the next item which i know a lot of people have been like what with is the pen pal so this guy here is the form one makeup pal pen for when you need a quick look or touch up on the go 
you don't want to carry your entire makeup bag. So this is a $25 USD and I just dropped it on the floor because of course I did. So what we've got here are one, two, three, four different shades and they for different things. So we have, I think it was on the box. Uh, yeah, so we have a black eyeliner, highlighter and champagne, mauve for your lip liner and a brown, coffee brown for an eye look pencil. So let's see. That's not going to... So it is pretty dry and it, I'm like rubbing hard. I'm hoping that in time it feels better. Okay, there we go. That's better. So that... We will just do it with all might as well. So highlighter first. Ugh. Come on. Then eyeliner. It's pretty pigmented. That's nice. And then we have. So you have to twist it. To get it to come up. That must be the eyebrow pencil. And last but not least, so you gotta twist quite a bit to get it to come. Is it up yet? No. Do, 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 do. Spend all morning doing that. And then the lip pencil. So highlight, eyeliner, eyebrow pencil, lip liner. Not bad. Actually, you know what? I know a lot of people were complaining about this. It is pretty bulky. I carry a small, just a wallet with me when I'm going out without my kid. But when I have my diaper bag and such with me, that might be nice just to toss in. So, okay. Fair enough. <sighs> okay. And my last item is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I'm not thrilled with the Bella Pierre stuff that I have gotten in the past, so that's why I kind of sigh on that. But, you know. So that's the packaging. Not terribly thrilled. And then the retail value is $20. Okay, so Jet black, black liquid liner with flexible, tailored, tapered tip, perfect for thin or bold strokes, long lasting formula, dries quickly for a beautiful matte finish. Alright, so let's go ahead and swatch this. I have really been enjoying the Satate London I got. I did it as an add-on in an earlier box and it was really nice. So, let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can do a really fine line, or you can do a thicker line, so that's there. And obviously that really thick line, I have a huge bubble there, so that's going to take a minute to dry. But, okay, you know, I'll give it a try. I have a complexion correcting palette from them, and a lipstick, and I think... That might be it. No, I have a powder blush um, thing, but meh. But it's not bad. It's just not my favorite brand. So, all right. So it was obviously not dry yet since I just tapped it and got it on my fingers. But the little line is definitely dry. So you can see that I'm rubbing that. That's not a problem. All right, and now they're all dry. So, yeah, I'm rubbing them, and they're not coming off. There's no smudging. So that should be fine. I, it's just, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of the brand. So, my box came to... Uh, I'm going to round those two numbers up and round that one down. So, 40, 80, 141... 
$66, $64, somewhere in there. So for me, definitely worth it. I am going to give a go to the serum and the eye cream. I love, love, love the palette. So I am super happy about that. And where did I put it? The, <laughs> of course I'm losing it, right? And the pencil with all the different thingies in it, I'll definitely give that a try. So for me, definitely worth it. Is it the best? Boxy charm box I've gotten since I started getting boxy back in March. Probably not. <clears throat> Two, you know, you got the eye product, which I feel like we get a lot of. So, meh, I probably didn't need this big of an eye serum, but you know, that's fine. I wonder what it smells like. Let's see if it's safety sealed. It is safety sealed, so I'm not going to go ahead and open it just because I have a lot of eye serums and I don't want it to go bad on me. The eyeliner and pencil is definitely interesting, I think. Yeah. So I'm happy. I got the one main product I really, really wanted, which was the palette. And we will do a look with that girl at some point. She is absolutely stunning and beautiful. And so that is what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed but haven't yet, hit the bell to get notifications of all my upcoming videos. We are back. We are going to start filming again. I have a few things that I want to show you that I have been purchasing. So I've got like the athletics that I have just recently got involved with. I have some stuff from Reitman's Canada, their active wear line that I am really liking. And now that we are opened back up in Toronto, I can go shopping again and I can start trying clothes on in the change room. And let you guys see how things actually fit. Alrighty, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.